What's up guys, it's Sylvie2k, and uh, before we get this video started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my good friend, Anthony PZC, who's also the leader of UCXT, which is the tandem team that I'm on. I'm going to show you guys a couple examples of what Anthony PZC uploads, and it's honestly amazing some of the stuff that he does, so. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. He uploads very good content. He's a lot more active than I am, to be honest. But uh, yeah, if we can get him close to 5,000 subs, that would just be amazing. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video. The first topic is going to be like manual versus manual and clutch. And how the difference between just regular manual and manual with clutch is literally crazy. Because the amount of angle that I could pull back... Just makes everything so much fucking easier. Yeah, you so when it. you feel your car sort of spinning out, you can uh, sort of span the clutch and it'll help to bring your car back if you feel that you might spin out. <laughs> Zelt is fucking no, like, dancing in the background. That's what the, the good fuck? thing though, because with clutch, <laughs> like, you can always keep in the high revs and whatnot. You know, you're not losing it, you're not gonna like yeah spin out you can keep with everyone at the same pace at the similar revs yeah. you know and of course because when you tandem in you're breaking aren't you you're going to be breaking to yeah keep behind the person in front and obviously if you're breaking your revs are going to drop so clutch kicking will help to keep Major your revs help. up and it'll mm -hmm. stop your car from mm -hmm. bogging and it'll, it'll it just it just allows you to stay consistent on you know the person's <clears throat> door in front it's too good man what i'm glad clutch is a thing <clears throat> Seriously. God, clutch. Just, just wow. imagine, just imagine if, if you just didn't have manual or clutch or whatever. Imagine it, it, it just didn't just, exist. It'd be, it'd be, it drifting would be just... <laughs> like, <laughs> it'd, just be like, it'd be all automatic drifting, it'd be fucking all-wheel drive. What is that? <laughs> it'd be basically be a hooligan fucking lobby. Man, yeah. clutch is just... Clutch is wonderful, dude. That's all I know. Oh, clutch. Can we yeah, all if you're not a... using clutch, we... I know people are going to be watching this. If you're not using clutch, clutch, you need to change. True. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I... DX. DX used manual a lot, right? He, yeah, he got yeah. used to clutch. A, and year this ago, man is, a year ago is from now, I was using manual for two years. And that was pain. Because yeah, every I time I tried to go on someone's door, it was either 50% me of spinning out, kicking off, throw my head across the room. And then I'm going mental, <laughs> and then yeah. the other half was okay, it was, it was me leading and shit. But then I came to Horizon 4, I was like, what the fuck is this? What, what am I going to be doing now? I was like, you got Ant over here, use manual clutch. Go Lynx, manual clutch. I mean, I finally used them because I kept on bogging out and I just needed it. Like, I really did need it. So, yeah, I got used to it after a while. And yeah, I just got better over there. So... Um, yeah, just use manual clutch, it'd be ten times better. Just make sure you use the right tune or you could like a quick plug. Use Anthony PZC's tunes. It'll completely help you out. Uh, right, yeah, but but there's there's another aspect of clutch though, because half of the time the tracks that people do, they include so many sharp tight turns, like the car park, even the crates have sometimes really sharp turns. Yeah. But if you don't have clutch, that's it. I think you're, you're, you're basically you're not gone. gonna you're basically yeah, you're gone. not gonna you're not hold gonna it at all. Speed. You're gonna basically bog out every second. You're just literally gonna lose speed. Everyone's gonna be taken off like Sonic. Have... Why do we have this and... Wolverine guy in front of us? What is this? <laughs> oh, he's a man. <laughs> he's in his uh, little car. Like, he's oh, enjoying this. Good guy. He's just admiring. Look, he's literally... Shout out to that guy. Yeah. Shout oh, not... fight! Look at him. He's at there already. Clap, clap. <laughs> Why we talk to a stranger, but anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind that. But yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, in a bit, mate. Oh, what's... Yeah. What? Oh, uh, Go on. I was doing donuts. Go on. Go on, lad. Oh, oh no, man. He's, oh, he's man. gone. He's, he's disappeared. He's gone. He's oh, in a bit. Thanos Pano <laughs> snapped his finger and he fucking died. <laughs> yeah, man, he's oh, yeah. gone. <laughs> Edit that in. Like, that's gonna be the video now, you know. You gotta get a man that's clicking his finger at him. And um... <laughs> oh, uh, Go on. Uh, I was doing donuts. Go on. Go on, lad. Oh. When you break, you're going to want to use clutch to, like, 
compensate for your revs going down, right? So we're gonna talk yeah. about yeah. like how when you tune tandem cars, right? You're gonna want to have your brake pressure to about 20% to the rear or about like 20% brake pressure just in general because it'll be a lot of help to like kick your ass out when you're trying to hop on someone's door. It'll help you like angle like more consistent. If you brake behind someone and you brake to two, you, you're basically just gonna come to a dead stop. And if you've got people behind you, say you're like second in line and there's people behind you and you're just coming to a dead stop, you're just gonna ruin like the train. Yeah. And it, it just doesn't look good. It looks messy. So if you have your brake pressure like low, mm -hmm. you, you, you can just tap your brakes Helps you to stay behind the car in front, stay on their rear fender, and just keep everything clean in general. Say you're say you're leading a train, right? You're not going to want to use the brakes at all because you're going to be slowing down literally everyone else that is behind you and makes it almost impossible yeah. to get a solid train. I need like a really... Oh, dude, dude, like... Runway, just brake drift. Brake well, yeah, do, do a brake drift yeah, lead. Do a brake drift <laughs> lead. I mean, we're actually doing it like quite well. I'm gonna have to just do so much shit. This feels like shit. <laughs> and I gotta take off. <laughs> and then brake again. Man, this is just. I mean, yeah, this looks shit. So yeah, this, <laughs> this is good. just amazing. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm doing, man. This looks fucking horrible, man. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Did she? I was the chat, chat, chat smiling on my face all the through the run. That was that wasn't even. <laughs> this is horrendous. I'm actually in disgust. You don't want people okay. behind to have to break any more than what they need to. Yeah. So if you can hold like a consistent speed in, in the lead and only break if you really have to to you know get back on if the line and make a slight mistake here or there or so you, what yeah, kind of what kind of speed do you recommend like for leading right. for instance just say the crits what kind of yeah. speed would you recommend about 28 as a lead, 29 leading? so we already have manual clutch we already have brakes what i was going to do is i was going to do like your positioning on the car in front of you before we get into transitions because your positioning on the car in front of yeah. you is going to help you transition because you're you're sitting farther back on their door basically yeah. what you want to aim to do is you want to aim to be positioning your front wheels next to on the person the in front their wheels. rear wheels that's probably the optimal uh, positioning When you come into transition, it'll um, it'll, be, it'll make transitions a lot cleaner. But we'll get into transitions uh, later on. But you want to make sure that you position your car nice and far back on the person in front, not too far back, to the point where you're basically behind them, and not too far forward because it starts to look very unclean. So, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll again we'll throw a demonstration on the video. Are you front bumpering right now on purpose? Oh, what the? F yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'll just get on the front <laughs> fender now. I'll have to. I'll have to give it one of these. You know, sacrifice my idea. That's all good. If it, in a train situation, definitely like one of the top things because like if you're in a train and you're all perfectly positioned, that train is going to flow way better. But the only issue with that is if positioning is like perfection and want to use like go out of line or or something basically that, front fender and all that. yeah and that messes it up anyways <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> front fender and all that, and all that. <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah. But yeah. Um. But <laughs> I'd rather get through. But yeah. That. With positioning, it all depends on the car size because like, I used to I used to drift muscle cars and it'd be quite long rather than the JDM ones that most people drift. So I'd be either getting stuck like on the rear fender, getting through out of the trains and whatnot, or I wouldn't leave enough room. So like you kind of just gotta kind of adapt depending on what car is being used or what cars you see in the train. Yeah, so basically <laughs> if you're positioned too far forward on the person in front, you're gonna have to do a whole lot of braking to allow them to transition you because obviously you need to give them space to transition if you're not giving them space you're just going to collide and it's just a big mess you want to aim to be transitioning basically the exact same time if not sooner than the car in front you just want to mirror the person in front of you Yeah guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Um, this is actually going to be a part one of a part two series where the part two is going to be a lot more in depth. So stay tuned for that. Should have it out uh, in a couple weeks or so. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you all later.